It's the end of the month. And as a business owner, I am a layers poultry farmer. I, that's my business. So as a business owner, you're wondering what your report should look like. Your report should show that, um, it should show the health of your business. If your business is doing well, if it's not doing well. So what should all this report entails? What should show you that, okay, your business is probably heading in the right direction or not heading in the right direction. That's what we're talking about in this video today. Your monthly reports, what it should entail. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Modupe. I am a layers poultry farmer doing business in Nigeria, living in Nigeria. So like I mentioned um, in the introduction, we're talking about your monthly reports, the report that shows the health of your business. So what should this report entail? That's what we're talking about today. So um, we have an app we use um, just to make sure we record every, every happenings at the farm. So we record... Um, Everything that happens, the eggs we picked, the birds we lost, the medication we used, the income, the expenses, and everything. So we have an app that we use. So that's what I'm going to just show here. I'm just going to list what the reports looks like. So of course, you can actually make your reports monthly. You can make your report, um, you can choose to have a weekly report, a monthly report. And of course, you can also have your, your yearly report also. So you can, whichever one you want to, whichever way you want to look at the report, that's what we're going to talk about today. If you're seeing my face for the first time, please do well to subscribe on this channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for stopping by again. So the first thing we're going to talk about um, in this report, the first thing we're talking about here is um, the inventory. Yeah, like I said, I'm just going to pick these things from the app we're using. The inventory. So under the inventory, I'll just show you the details that we have under the inventory that we have to look at at the end of every month or at the end of every week or at the end of every year, your reports, your business reports. So under our inventory, we have um, the names of all the flock we have at our farm. I think in one video I made last year, I talked about the, the flocks we have at our farm. I'm probably going to also link the video, um, the link to that video somewhere up here so you can also watch them. And the reason we named our flock is just to be sure, is just to know the progress of every bird, every set of birds that we have at our farm. Of course, we've sold some of the birds we, we had when I made that video. And we've also had additional ones so you can also just check that video and see why we named our flock so yeah we have the names of the flock um that's under the inventory and that shows us the total number of birds we have at our farm at every time because like i said every day i make inputs um in this app to show the daily um the daily inventory at the farm the flock the feed and the eggs so that is what this invent inventory entails we have the flock all the birds we have at our farm at the moment we have 5603 birds at our farm then we have the feed so this feed shows the all the feed we've had so far at our farm yeah i'm also just going to have the picture so you see them so you, you're going to see all the feed that we have the ones we have currently it shows the feed we have at the moment so we have the feed under the inventory then another thing we have under the inventory is the eggs at the farm so of course this this egg shows the egg we've had so far like i mean the eggs we have produced so far since we started this farm and what we currently have as of today so it's going to show the added like what we added the the eggs we picked then reduced what we have sold or what we have just taken out of the farm then it's going to also show the nets that is what is remaining as of today yes so that's that for the inventory another thing we have under the reports yeah we have transaction so under the transaction um, we have the income and the expenses we also have the data summary that shows them um, so for the current month we just have something that shows um the income we've had this month and the expenses we've had this month of course today is we are still at like at the middle of the month or well yeah it's still at the beginning of the month so this shows what we've done so far from the first of the month till today yeah so that is about the transaction if you'd like to start a layer poultry business 
you're not sure how to go about it you're not sure how things are currently in the business this is business i've been doing the last three years so you can just send me an email poetry with modupe at gmail.com i'm going to have my email um on the screen and also you can just book a session with me i currently have a two hour consultation session ongoing the link is also going to be in this description box so you can book a session with me and we can just talk about your fears your inquiries and literally just hold your hand while you start the business poetry business is not a business you should go into without having a clear understanding of it and who best to give you this clear understanding than someone currently in the business as at today as at now so yeah so just click on the link in the description box to book a consultation session with me and trust me you're not going to regret it because it's going to be worth your time worth your penny and you're going to be better for it so i look forward to having you another thing on that report um is the egg reduction so when you check the egg reduction at our farm it shows the current month of course the good thing about this app we use is that you're able to see um your details from other months also so you see the current month which is july you see the eggs we have we've had so far you see um so it's based on the categories of yeah summary rather so we have lost or stolen eggs we have sold eggs personal use spoiled or broken yeah we have all that and that shows at the end of like when you had everything up it gives you the total number of eggs we've we've reduced so far on the farm during that period it could be the week it could be a week it could be a month then also we also have the reduction on each day so of course some days i'm not at the farm um it probably mean we have zero reduction and other days when some customers come to pick egg at the farm we would have um reduction because that means we have sold those eggs so another thing we also have under our report that you have to take seriously especially as a poultry farmer layers poultry farmer is your flock reduction so you see in the period how many birds have we lost in the last um 10 days in the last one week in the last one month so that that's also able to guide you to know that okay is there an issue if you've lost more than a certain number of course depending on the capacity of your farm if you've lost more than a certain number of birds in a month then you should know that there's trouble yeah you should probably lose a certain number again depending on the capacity of your of your farm i think for this month we've lost like um 10 11 birds yeah so that's about that then of course it will also show because like i said i impute this data every day in this app so it shows every day that we lost a bird which is great also another thing under the report is the feed report so the feed report shows um the inflow of feed i mean the feed we got the with the feed we bought and the reduction also so let's say we buy um 600 bags at a time like we buy at, at, at the farm we buy 600 bags then i'll start reducing it every day that okay on the on the first of july we use 25 bags on the second of july we use 25 bag on the third of july we use 25 bag and so on so at the end of the month i'm able to see that okay this is the total number of of feed we used for that month the feed we got the feed we used so it shows the feed reports that should also be taken very seriously as a poultry farmer or as a layers poultry farmer another thing we have here is the egg production so under the egg production it shows the eggs we produce every day on the farm so we are able to also check from like you just have an overview immediately that oh okay Two days ago, we had um, 140 crates. Yesterday, we had 137 crates. What is happening? What could be the issue? Is it the weather? Is it that my is it that they weren't fed well? Is it just the birds having the time their own time and not producing well? So you're able to have a very good understanding of your a very good understanding and data of your business at every time. Yeah. So also then lastly. Um, on this space we have the health of the birds yeah you have to take these reports seriously also so of course there are some medications you have to use every month there are some vaccines you have to use every month of course you have to use lasota every month so it has to show in your health reports also 
that okay the birds use vitamin from so 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 date to so 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 date the birds use lasota on so 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 date the birds were sprayed um against lice on so so date so it just gives you a very good overview of your business and that's about it for your reports and at the end of the day at the end of the month at the end of the week at the end of the year you're able to go back to pull these reports study your data see how you can do better with your business or see where you have any shortcoming so that you can fix it and whichever way you're doing well or whatever you're doing and just try and stick to it yeah guys so that's about it thank you for watching if you have not subscribed at this point tell me what are you doing what are we doing <laughs> so please click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed turn on the notification bell if you haven't done so please like please share if you're a poultry farmer let me know what um how you deal with your report how you pull your data um in your own business of course i'd like to learn too and i'm sure other people who are watching this would also like to learn too so we we'll see you on another video bye bye